So, it would appear that I'm in the shower. Um, let's hope I'm clothed. That might be safe. Not really. Okay. Right. I better get some clothes on. Okay. When we left, I had just gone to. Uh, uh, well, yeah, le when we left uh, last week, we had an encounter here with sort of almost a ghost image of Johnny Silverhand, who. Uh, yeah, had me bashing my head against the window. And yeah, that is what. Yeah, so well, we wake up and we're in the shower. Okay, open your inventory and put on some clothes. Right, it's interesting we are armed but we're not clothed. Right, put my favourite tea on. Oh, uh, right, we've got some choices here. Mm. Not sure that's me. Nah, not me. Um, what's this one like? Oh, nah, that's not it either. Now that's that's got sparks, but not sure. Oh, decisions, decisions. Nah, the maelstrom is what I'm objecting to. There, there are a gang of metalheads. So last century. Right. Maybe I'll leave. Put my favourite pants on. That's the American pants, of course, not the UK pants. Right. Um, check our email. I think we're actually okay on. Ammo. 800 rounds for pistol, 900 rounds for the assault rifle. Yeah, we're okay on r ammo. Don't need to stock up on that. Let's check our email. Rent past due. Well, I've been out of action for. Uh, right, so. They're threatening us, but they're not actually going to do anything just yet. They're sort of just. A, a forceful reminder. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Uh, Leave the apartment. Algebra here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told me. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Right. Mega Building H10 Administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish you a pleasant day. Uh, and what's the Bart Boss Collective got to tell us? Uh, 
First will come a great reality check which ushers in the future of the world. Then, Whenever money changes hands, your true self becomes a victim to capitalism. The best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. Weirdos. Stella Main. W Mr. Wells. Dear Mr. V. I uh, would like to inform you that Mr. Wells's body has been delivered to his family. I need to contact his family, don't I? Let's see if we can do that. Call Jackie Wells. Uh, I don't have his family's number, so I can't contact him. Okay, let's go meet Takamori. Barry, we know you're in there. We're here to help. Don't got no fucking warrant. You know what the worst thing is about this place? Right. And down. Hello, I'm Alex Bob with WNF News. Today is a sad one in our city. Down. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. He died. The mayor passed away, eh? Definitely a lot of cops in the entrance to the mega tower. End carts, custom support. So let's read the message. Dear end cart uh, passenger, we are pleased to inform you that the technical problem with your end cart city pass has been resolved. Full access to all end cart services has been restored. As compensation for this inconvenience, we have credited your end cart account with a promotional discount, allowing you to travel on any end cart line free of charge until the end of the calendar year. We appreciate your understanding and hope to see you riding with end cart again soon. Thank you for traveling with us, end cart customer support. Um, end cart Night City. Something ra uh, rail transport or something like that. I'm not sure. There is a in cart station just around the corner from here. Right. Back there is the end cart station. Ah, uh, Night City Area Rapid Transport. Okay. We'll be using that before long, I expect. Hey, over there. How old you think? Somewhere in Tom's Diner. There's Tom's Diner. Oh, bit of loot. Pick up the loot. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Oh. Is this about the biochip? Is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it will be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. 
Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Why do you help me? Why do you help me anyway? I needed you to live. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and the Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question then. Let's go with been looking for her. Why do you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Ooh. We met her the once. B? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume Macorpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. <sighs> hey. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Ooh. What if I say no? If I say no. Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. What? Yeah. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. What kind of people are we talking about? Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. And does Hellman mean that those kind of people? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanato-sama, I would first like to ask you. Fucking Asaka scum's everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. 
nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. We need to think about it. We'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Ooh, try my luck with Evelyn Parker? Or the relics engineer knows more than anybody, uh, anybody else? There's no time to waste, V. Relic. Linders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, He's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. You know more than I thought. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why were you looking for Hellman? Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days. I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. Ooh. Mean to say you worked for Suburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. Oh, we get a chance to do the same thing. Uh... With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman would not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call in. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. I've just got a notification it's saying ads are about to happen. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our saga is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. This is Johnny Silverhand. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. 
Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Chris's past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. There is no us. And he's gone. 